Yeah, here we are in Victoria, British Columbia on Wharf Street, uh, right here at the waterfront. Uh, and it's a gorgeous day. And um, looking behind me is where there are some charter boats that I'm going to go on tomorrow uh, to, um, to hopefully catch some halibut. Well, here we are back down at um, the wharf the next morning at seven o'clock. You can see it's still quite dark. Uh, all the lights are on, but the skipper is here and we're gonna walk down to the dock and see the boat behind me. That's the one we're going on. And um, here's Rob, the, uh, the skipper of the 30-foot Grady. Hi, Randall. Nice to meet you. Uh, good to meet you. Yeah. yeah. yeah big Grady, 30-footer. We're going to go out and get some halibut today. So that's why um, for the amount of harvest, at one time, um, I, I don't know, time flies by so fast, but it's probably six years ago or eight years ago that we were allowed two halibut each per license, no size restrictions, so we could keep the 200 pound halibut or 150 pound halibut. Now we can't keep one basically over 70 pounds or 133 centimeters. And um, we're only allowed six a year on a, per license and only one per day. So that's the difference because of the sports fishermen being able to be so successful at hal halibut fishing with the GPS. That's the difference. Well, here we are in the magic spot. It only took us a half hour to get here, which is pretty good when you consider it takes about 15 minutes to get out of the, out of the harbor. So here we are at about 240 feet of water. And you can see that it's nice and calm. That's why we got out here so quickly. But there's a storm coming from the southeast. So um, we should be back well before it hits here, though. Here we go. Spiny dogfish coming up. Not exactly what you want. Good. There. We can look at it. So it's got a spine here and a spine there on the dorsal and then they got really, their skin's like sandpaper yeah. so they're easy to grab yeah. and then their teeth are like razors. And they also have the ammonia in the yeah, skin. Yeah, they urinate through their skin so yeah. it smells. He, well, all of a sudden, like see he's dry and not dripping? Mm -hmm. He may all of a sudden just start pouring water and it, he's just releasing all his urine or whatever through his skin. That's why they're disgusting fish to catch, aren't they? They are. Okay, well, we had a fun day, a challenging day. We caught quite a few dogfish and unfortunately, just like in sport, we didn't win today, but uh, we had an enjoyable trip and um, yeah, thanks a lot. There's always next time. Always next time, definitely, always next time.